when I get my braids on. Well, hey, good morning. What's going on? It is another Get Your Praise On Monday with Kelly Chapman. And I am so happy to be up and ready to praise God. And it's been just really an amazing time of late. I mean, just checking my inbox and getting all the wonderful messages, and I can't wait to share the one that I'm going to share with you today. But before I do that, let's get into the Word. We are going to read Psalm 1. Blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked, or stand in the way of sinners, or sit in the seat of mockers. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and on his law he meditates day and night. He is like a tree planted by streams of water, which yields its fruit in season, and whose leaf does not wither. I love this part. Whatever he does prospers. <laughs> that is so good. And, um, you know, when I think about this, I think about, you know, kind of being in business, being an entrepreneur, and, you know, I've kind of been in between corporate life, entrepreneurship, singing, etc. And you know, you have those times where uh, you're trying to figure out what am I supposed to be doing? What's the plan? You put your business plan together and all of that. But what I found in uh, being an entrepreneur, the most important thing is seeking God and really following Him and following His counsel and His wisdom and letting Him order your steps daily. And it's so amazing that through all the things I've been through in running a business, I always hear the voice of the Lord. And the times where I actually hear it and heed it have been the times when God has really catapulted the success of my businesses. So I'm thankful for all of the opportunities I've had. I'm thankful for the opportunity to be able to employ people, to be able to make a difference in others' lives. I mean, to be able to do things like that because I'm an entrepreneur at one point in my life was just awesome. And so I'm thankful for that. And uh, today we have a praise report from a gentleman who's also an entrepreneur. And I want to share that one with you. And there's a, quite a few things that he shares in here. It says, Kelly, as a Christian husband, I feel I am truly blessed to be married for 20 years to a wonderful, faithful, and trustworthy wife to help, help me through my Christian life. We decided when our two children were born to have my wife stay home and homeschool our children. Good idea. It has not always been easy, but I can say God has blessed us in making the right decision. Because of my technology expertise, 15 years ago I was asked to create a website for our church, which I donated my time for to help the church. After rolling out that website, Christian businessmen started hiring me to develop sites for them or helping them with their computer work, which was part-time, from my full-time job as a computer analyst. Over the last 15 years, we have been blessed every year with enough work at home to continue our homeschooling with our children. This is something we couldn't have done without God's help and what? Guidance. Whenever the work would slow down, my wife would get on her knees and pray for business, and boy, would I get busy. Hmm. This happened every time she began to pray. In fact, many times I told her to slow down on the prayers because we would have too much business. Wow. Then, of course, I would have her pray for wisdom so I can get the work done as quickly as possible. As possible. The moral is... If you truly trust God for guidance and believe in what he teaches about raising children, he will make it happen. I know. I am living the story. It is awesome. God bless you, Kelly, for all you do. Mm. Hallelujah. His name is Brian. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. That is just wonderful. That uh, Brian has this wonderful testimony of... Trusting God for guidance, letting him order his steps. And when times got hard, and this is for those business folks out there, when times get hard, drop to your knees. Get on your knees and pray and praise. Most importantly, praise. Not just on Sunday, not just during this program, but praise him. Let his praise continually be in your mouth. 
And I'll tell you, it may not be every day that you've got a new contract coming in, but I do know this. God is able. He's Jehovah Jireh. He is your provider. And he will make sure that you're taken care of. So I'm excited. I want to just send a shout out to all my entrepreneurs out there and just tell you, God bless you. May the Lord expand your territory. And may he prosper you and continue to keep you in good health, even as your soul would prosper. So send your praise reports. This has been a great morning. I can't wait to see what the rest of the day has for me. Send your praise reports to fan at kellychapman.net. That's F-A-N at kellychapman.net. If I read your praise report on the air, guess what? I'm going to send you an MP3 of, excuse me while I get my praise on. So I will send that to you. I'm looking forward to hearing from you. And I look forward to seeing you again next Monday, same time and maybe the same place. God bless you. Take care. I know, sorry. Keep going, sorry. Get on.